Hey everyone, Shiny Severoth here with yet another X War progression. We're uh, making quick work of chapter 41, and I'm all here for it. So, the strategy behind this team you know what? Like I said before, I see Pierre, I put God Slayer. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I did here. Uh, God Slayer was put in the far right row so you can get Pierre out of there as quickly as possible because his uh, his assassin ghost sniping attack is devastating. Um, I went ahead and I put Einstein on this team. Um, I think it was just out of happenstance. I was moving things around to make sure the other two teams had something to, to do. And um, I noticed that there were times that God Slayer was getting knocked out really early in this battle. So I put uh, Einstein in and he seemed to mitigate a lot of those issues and I was winning like nine times out of ten for this battle. Um, this was a rather difficult one, especially for um, rounds two and three. It just ended up being kind of random uh, if I was going to win round two or not and I finally beat uh, battle three and we'll get into that in a moment. So uh, this one was another I was having some issues with. Um, just Randomly having uh, Zeus knock out either Indira and uh, most of the time their Zeus was knocking out both Indira and Pierre. And then there were times that their Ronin was knocking everyone out. And then there was the random times that Ivy wasn't able to stop um, uh, whatever his name is, uh, Galaxy, from taking everyone out. So I decided to put in a uh, control redundancy with Medusa. She, compared to Ivy, she is not nearly, as, or at least my Medusa is not as consistent uh, when it comes to uh, paralyzing people or petrifying them. But in this case, it worked out perfectly. Ivy wasn't even knocked out and she was able to entangle key members of their team. And then Medusa went and petrified Zeus. It's the first time I've seen this happen and it was a match made in heaven. Um, with previous... Um, iterations of this battle that I'd seen it and when I did win it would be coming down mostly to Indira sitting and doing chip damage like crazy uh, you saw a little bit of that here but there were times that she was just it was actually quite impressive and I wish I had some of those on on footage but it was just sitting here she was just sitting there constantly chipping away at them it was uh it was really cool oh no 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 please tell me that it saved it Oh, oh, wait, wait, we have it, we have it. Thank goodness it saved it. Wow. All right. So here is the final battle. This one was quite difficult. Um, what I ended up doing here is I put Mecha Valkyrie on the far left-hand side so that she could uh, chip away at camp and then take out um, Goddess of the Ocean. Uh, and my hope in this situation would be that um, Toko would take out Logan rather quickly, and uh, which she rarely ever did. And then Forest Dancer comes in and helps uh, take other people out. And that uh, we can do a lot of cleaning up um, in, uh, in round one so that Valkyrie and Forest Dancer can take care of Orochi and Laura during round two. Um, yeah, I, I noticed in a lot of times that I was having issues with, um, uh, Goddess of the Ocean. If I tried to take out Orochi first, not quite sure how that worked out, but it did. And, uh, yeah, and uh, I had to put Chorus in on here. Oh, wow. Look at that crazy glitch. Uh, Chorus for some extra defense, as well as the wallop that her sand golem brings into the mix. Uh, and then Lucas is here to help us survive the pre-missiles from Laura, as usual. So now we have Forest Dancer here. She's taking out Goddess of the Sea. And uh, thankfully, we didn't have a lot of aerial damage to trigger Kui Pan's uh, healing too early. So, yeah. And then, uh, thankfully, Togo, I mean, she came and she did her job, which, as you... All know who are at higher levels can be very frustrating and random. But yeah, so uh, that team miraculously did well. 
and uh, and it's because Toko decided to do her job. Uh, it's just such a shame that she is so inconsistent. Let's go ahead and grab our tickets, and that is forty-one twenty. So this one here took a little bit of time to figure out. Not too much, though. Uh, like five or six tries moving things around. Um, what I uh, the the team that the game gave me was uh, a little too squishy. Uh, they had uh, Toko in there as well as some other person. Um, but I figured I didn't need Toko in the end of it all. I really needed three. Uh, tanks in the front row to absorb Tchaikovsky's inevitable ultimate because uh, everybody was hitting him so hard that uh, he was bound to do his ultimate in round one every single time. Um, the other thing I had to do was put Godslayer in the number four slot to make sure that he uh, hit Van Helsing and hopefully knocked him out first before knocking out anybody else. Because for every person on his team that gets knocked out, his explosion, his self-destruct gets better. So if you want to, uh, like right there, he was the first person to get KO'd on his team. So with that in account, uh, his explosion is very minimal. Plus putting uh, Lucas on this team... Uh, helps ensure people won't die right out of the gate from his explosion, even if one or two other people had died first. But now it's a it's a pretty easy battle, um, just uh, using the DPS that we have to whittle away at everybody. So that's a that's a big bonus. <laughs> so you're gonna sit there, just whittle away at them, and bada bing, bada boom, we have ourselves another three star victory. And yeah, let's go ahead and see how we're doing on here. Oh, we have creeped up to number five. Good on us. Look at that. All right. So uh, yeah, congratulations to us. Thank you all very much for being a part of this video. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.